Shed engineering, but not as you know it. The model beam engines first run, and some unseen footage. Hello there, Alan Plum here again with a little more from Shed Engineering. In this video I'm just putting together some unseen footage and unedited clips that some viewers might find interesting. It's quite difficult to know who finds such videos interesting or who the videos are actually appealing to, if anyone. And likewise it can be hard to decide what kind of detail or level of information you lads and possibly lasses want at this level of modelling or engineering, if it can be called that. Uh, some chaps with far higher skill levels and experience will no doubt find some of the videos stating the obvious and rather tedious. But then, on the other hand, you have the other end of the scale where someone has never attempted anything along these lines who would like far more detail simply because they've never done anything like this. So, trying to decide what to put in and what to leave out is often difficult. Anyway, any comments are always welcome and I will try and answer any questions. We start with the unedited clip of the first run where I'm trying to set the timing of the valve crank which is just a very tight push fit onto the crankshaft. Sorry I don't convey a lot of information but after months of work I think I've sort of cobbled uh, the last few bits together in the hope that she will uh, actually run and I don't think I can actually believe she's uh, she's going I'm almost stood there waiting for something to fall off or jam so put a valve on to try and control a bit of the pressure um, you've seen the valve gear as rudimentary as it is I've got an indicator just here that indicates where the and if that indicator is anywhere near accurate she should never run you see the crossbar at the top and the piece of card that I'm pointing at that is the valve then the valve will never drop down far enough for it to exhaust so I just cannot fathom how she actually ran uh, valve is and where the port is so I've rigged the um, vacuum up outside if you can see that so that when we turn it on you're not deafened right I think we're all fixed up I'm just gonna run some oil you wouldn't believe how many years I've dreamt of, of actually building a building a working model of a a steam engine I'm just going to run some oil down the valve tube as a youngster uh, I used to make all sorts of Meccano models and I had one of them little mammoth steam engines uh, driving a, a lorry and all sorts of uh, weird and wonderful contraptions and I always really wanted to build a, a live steam 
um, a live steam engine but obviously the cost of a workshop and so on and so forth is just so expensive there we go that's not too bad and to be finally to be finally at the stage of actually trying it it's actually absolutely awesome that'll do let's see whether Let's see whether we can get anything out of her. I'm just starting to open the valve up. Yes! Look at that! Oh. Just trying to adjust the sorry about that, that was a an apple dropping off the tree. Go on, girl. Go on. Oh, there Go on. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. And again, and again. Go on. Oh, shit. Yes! Yes! Oh! Come on, my beauty. Go on. Go on. Go on. Look at that! Go on, girl! Well, look at that! I'm absolutely delighted! I'm absolutely over the moon.
sadly at that point the tape in the camera ran out and I think I actually just stood there mesmerized for the next 10 minutes but anyway here we are testing the cylinder and piston for the first time if we turn the hover on you can you've obviously seen that uh, there can't be a lot wrong with the design of the piston which I said earlier is uh, two thin sheets of plastic with uh, felt and the edge of the felt is soaked in grease and that's 1.1 ounces Right, I've got the lightest weight uh, on top of the piston rod. Sorry, it's going to be noisy again. Um, but I'm then going to blow air into the inlet, which is just uh, here at the bottom. I'm going to blow air in and then see whether it will lift it. So sorry about the noise when I can find the switch. Flipping heck, you can see how uncertain I am of uh, my design skills. Uh, on this first test, I've got ounces, starting off with one point something ounce. Uh, if you look in part six, then uh, that's where I do a test and it actually lifts three and a half pounds. Nice clip here showing the free running of the flywheel. In the square recess I hope to fit something that looks like half round gunmetal bearings to hide the roller bearings behind. Uh, got the flywheel mounted. The bearings are just MDF as is the uh, flywheel and I've managed to uh, get some three quarter uh, ball bearings set into there they're almost floating uh, so that, that they're just held and as you can see that seems to be working quite nicely and then I've got some oh, excuse me I've obviously got to make the bearing caps again they'll be made out of MDF and then what we'll have to do is carve out a recess to take the uh, to take the bearing and that should look pretty good to represent the uh, rivets and get a little bit of detail uh, I found some uh, half round or half uh, low shape little self adhesive jewels uh, for card making I think they are so uh, a pair of tweezers and put put them in place for representing the uh, rivets now it's just some uh, M4 threaded rod cut uh, to bolt the beam together with the spaces in in the middle that's another 15 minutes gone hope you found it interesting thank you for watching